I believe it's a true blessing for us to have the Southern Western Children's Hospital here available to us. Other families have to travel very far to have any type of things done that are wrong with their children, their families, and so I believe that we are blessed that it is close for us to, to be here. I have two reasons, very precious reasons, why I walk. I have lost two children, one a godchild and one a niece. And uh, of course they were very close to my heart. My godchild was viciously beaten by her babysitter and she was only 16 months old and lived for 12 hours before she passed. My niece was born with missing chromosomes and they detected that when my niece was pregnant and found out that most pregnancies don't even go full term with that but she was able to deliver the baby and the baby lived for nine days. In my heart you always have that question where did everything get done to save the girls and in my heart I know that everything that Children's Hospital did there was never a doubt in my mind that they did everything possible that they could. I'm very grateful for the passion that I have for this hospital and that's why I always walk and do whatever I can voluntarily, donate. I actually work on the day of the walk and volunteer my Saturday to do whatever I can extra for the Children's Hospital. I walk in memory of my friend's daughter, Bella. She had the biggest personality and the brightest smile. Even though she wasn't unable to walk, she loved going to Al's Run. It was one of her favorite days. She mostly liked the end of the, ride, or the walk because her mom would carry her and she would go down the big slide. It's a wonderful day to walk with friends and family, to honor Bella and all the children. I walk to support Children's Hospital of Wisconsin for the efforts that they put into improving the lives of children. My son was diagnosed with MCAD at 18 months of age. If it wasn't for the doctors at Children's Hospital, I'm not sure that he would be as healthy as he is today. I believe that children deserve the best, and I believe that Children's Hospital of Wisconsin is the best. Um, I don't have any children myself, but I have a lot of friends and family that do have children. And I have a goddaughter that's going to be nine years old this fall. And it is very comforting to me to know that that facility is available if anything ever would happen to her. Uh, I have had the opportunity over the years to tour the facility and to meet with some of the staff there. And I'm just impressed that we're so lucky to have them so nearby. So it's. It's been, like I said, 15 years with Tricon, but 15 years with Children's Hospital as well. Um, I do this really to honor uh, my niece and her daughter, uh, brain cancer. Brain cancer. Just those words kind of take my breath away. And that was the diagnosis that my niece, Shannon, received about her 13-month-old baby girl, Brianna. Prognosis was grim. She wasn't expected to make it out of the pediatric ICU. That was 15 years ago. Today, Brianna is a cancer survivor. I donate, I make pledges, um, I participate in the Briggs and Owls Walk and Run, really to honor them for everything that they went through. But I do it also to honor the, the families and the children that I know are being treated now. And hopefully someone who's maybe watching this or is touched by Children's Hospital will realize that 
together participating, we can make a miracle for another family. And that's why I do it, to hope that some other family gets the same kind of miracle that we did. For Children's Hospital of Wisconsin, we walk, we run, we pledge. Because today's children are tomorrow's future. At Tricom Funding, it's all about the kids. For Children's Hospital of Wisconsin,